bugged it up. I bugged up the strum. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Welcome to my one week recap of learning the guitar. I'm just going to sort of go through what I've been doing with these first seven, six, seven days of learning. And a few little things I want to point out as well uh, that I've collected along the way here on my table. We've upgraded from last week. We've got a table here. So, you know, there's little improvements to my uh, setup here. Wonderful. Still using an on camera microphone, so and it is raining quite heavy behind you. So, um, I'm hoping that the mic doesn't pick up that. Maybe soon we'll get a, an external off camera mic, but for now we're using this. Anyway, so for the last six, seven days, I've just been doing the D and the A chords over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. I've probably strummed D and A chords three, four, five thousand times. I'm still very, very uh, shoddy at them, but I think I'm making improvements since, since day one. I certainly hope so. And so we'll go on to that in a, in a little bit. First of all, though, I just want to say there's been a massive, massive upgrade here. I've gone from the 0.38mm pick that you may remember I showed you last week, this thin piece of paper thing. Massive upgrade to the point 46 millimeter. So I've gone from a beginner's beginner pick to a beginner's pick. Now, I should imagine gigs will be shortly coming. Maybe next weekend, possibly? I don't think so. I was finding on day three, day four, that, that was just too thin. So I had this 46 as well. I gave this a try and I was like, yeah, that's a little better. That was just too thin. I have a batch of those, I have like maybe three, four, five of those, I'm not sure. I bought, a, I bought a few of every size, so if anybody wants those, pop me a message, I'll, if you're in the UK, I'll send them out to you because, you know, I'm just, I'm just too good for those now. The progress has been unreal. So, that's the first exciting thing. Second, somebody kindly messaged me, um, telling me to get a pitch pipe. Now, I'd never heard of a pitch pipe before, but these are pretty cool. So, I've got one of these. It's so for tuning your guitar. Now, I, I do have an electric, I do have an electric, uh, an electric, sorry, a battery powered tuner here. So this can just go onto the headstock and then I can, you know, I can, I'm holding too many things here, put that down. I can strum each string and, and get in tune. So this pitch pipe lets me do it manually. So I can, I can find the string, it's my high E, I can, go by ear to try and improve my uh, my pitch recognition. So what I've been doing through the week is doing it by ear with the battery powered tuner on the headstock, not looking at that, trying to figure out where I think it needs to be. So if I do the low E, figuring out where I think it needs to be and then I'll do a little glance at the headstock tuner, the battery powered one and see how accurate I am. I think that might improve my pitch over time and that could be good for well, beginners and intermediate I guess because you know maybe your pitch is not something you've worked on. Um, so definitely recommend purchasing a pitch pipe. So thank you to the person who suggested one of these for me. Uh, maybe I'll do a little video on a little more, a little more advanced with its use and, and uh, maybe helpful for some people. Um, I've also got a guitar strap but I haven't put it on because I've got the connector there, but I don't have a connector here, wherever it needs to go. So you can connect it up there, but I just wasn't, wasn't getting on with it. So I'll probably try and get it at some point, I'll try and get a little connector placed there. Um, so yeah, so we'll go straight into these chord changes now. <clears throat> now, I think I was hitting 30 changes on day three. Day three or day four, but they were very shoddy. So I thought I'm going to give myself a full week on these uh, on these chords. So I saw when I was hitting the 30, I was like, right, I could move on to the next module, which I think starts introducing music a little bit and starts looking at a bit of strumming patterns. Um, but I thought, no, I'll reverse a second, give myself another three or four days working on these chords first, just to tighten them up a little bit. You know, they're not going to be perfect. I know it's going to be time for my fingers to, you know, the muscle memory in the hands to figure out where they need to be and my mind to just know exactly in intuitively what's going on. So I spent the last maybe three, four days 
And I haven't warmed up at all here, by the way, so this is probably going to be really rusty. I just walked straight in this morning, picked up the guitar, the guitar, and away we go. So, I've been doing, let me get that pick. I've been just trying to figure out the placement of the fingers before I strum the string. Now I'm happy with that. I'm going to reward myself with a strum. I buggered it up. I buggered up the strum. Right. Let's try again. That was a bit. That was, that was wrong. That was a bit ringy. Anyway, that's what I've been doing with the D and the A chord. So with the A I'll do the same thing, I'll just place my fingers where I think they need to be, I think it's about right, and I'll, I'll test the strings. Right, screwed that one up, right, did you hear that? The high E? So I've adjusted my ring finger and I've got it, so I'll go through again. myself with that beautiful strum. So I've been doing that over and over and over again. I think it's helping, you know, little by little. I think yesterday with the switches I was, for the first time I was hitting around 40. Yes, yeah, still sloppy, but I was hitting about 40 mark. I'll probably absolutely butcher it today because I haven't warmed up. I'm in front of a camera, so you know, palms are sweaty and all that. But um, I've been doing two methods with the actual switches as well. So I've been, I'm, I'll give you an example, I've been doing this type, stop, 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 but I didn't want to continue that too much because I, I didn't want to get into the habit of my hand wanting to constantly stop the strings after every strum, um, even though it's, it doesn't really matter because the strumming I think is in, in the next module where we start looking at that a little more, but even still, I've started adopting this as well. I haven't just been doing this ex exclusively, I've been doing the two, but I'll sort of switch them up. I'll do this type where I'll let the strings run through. Oh, I've done that wrong because I, <laughs> I did the fifth string. Start again. I'm recognizing my mistakes, so you know, that's good, right? So I'll let it ring through. Finding that's helpful because it's letting me pinpoint which string my finger is, you know, shouldn't be touching basically or shouldn't be on. So I'm finding that pretty helpful. I find it's tightening it up a little bit as uh, as the days pass by. So I'm going to have a go at doing that. It's kind of like it's, it's sort of like to use an analogy. It's kind of like learning to drive, really. You know, where the first you know your first batch of lessons, you're, you're just overthinking everything. The, the the clutch control, you know, you just basically panicking because you know you know you're going to stall so you're just thinking about that constantly the, the, the gear change you know you're thinking about that and you're trying to move you're trying to pull out you're trying to check your mirrors you don't know what you're looking for you don't know what you're doing that's sort of where we are right now I'm overthinking everything I do waiting for it to all just naturally fall in place so I'm fully aware that that's where I'm at and it's all about that muscle memory and it's going to take time so that's why I'm just slowing things down for these first weeks months and then um, we're going to have a go at this one minute changes, see if I can nail the 30. So I'm probably going to butcher it on camera, but that doesn't matter. I've got a practice lesson straight after this where I will, regardless of, whether I get, regardless of what I get right now, I'm going to move on to the next module because I know I've been consistently hitting between 30 and 40 for the last three days. Um, <clears throat> so we'll move on to the next module and I think that's where we, we start looking at strumming a little more. Um, and start to tidy up the chord changes a little bit rather than just focusing on the switch. Um, and I think some music is introduced, so maybe that will be what I look at in the next video. But I'm going to give this one minute a go. Just warm the hand up, you know. I've done my little stretches before I came in. Do my finger, my finger sit-ups. Yeah, we do a few reps on each one this morning. 
just before I came in. It's a light finger yoga. All right. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm going to reward myself. What a reward. Okay, one minute. Here we go. So I think that was a marked improvement on day one. I like to think so. I can, I, I'm fully aware that I'm occasionally plucking, uh, hitting the wrong strumming, strumming the wrong string, uh, root string, the wrong root string. I know that I'm occasionally, you know, buzzing the, the strings with my with my fingers. So you know, it definitely needs tidying up. But I think it's decent progress for one week. So that's where we're at after seven days. So. Uh, in terms of the practice I've been putting in, I'd say I did about an hour on that day one and if you remember my fingers were red raw and they were for about three four days they still hurt now but nowhere near as bad they have I'd say they're about 50 50 percent better they don't get as red as quick um, and I can feel those sort of alien pads sort of developing on the on the fingertips um, so I think maybe in two three weeks time that'll That'll be a lot better. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so I've been doing about an hour on day one and probably around the 40, 45 minute mark um, for the next six days up till today. Uh, sort of broken, broken up into maybe two or three chunks. So I've been doing about 20-ish minutes in the morning um, and then maybe 20-ish minutes in the afternoon. Sometimes it may be two blocks of 10. Sorry, 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 my memory card was full. So I've had to come back and set stuff up and get this last bit recorded. Um, it's my first blooper, my first week of filming, I've made my first blooper there. Um, and my first on-camera screw-up with my reward as well. So anyway, yeah, I may do ten, uh, two blocks of ten in the afternoon, evening, so 20 in the morning, 20 in the, in the afternoon, evening, so about 40 minutes a day, so I've probably got about five to six hours under my belt, so we'll call it five and a half so far. So thanks for joining for this one week recap and update and um, subscribe and There'll be another update coming soon. I'm not 100% sure what, what it's going to involve because I'm not totally sure what the next module includes, but we'll find out. And um, thanks for joining. Take care. Goodbye.